mean, you're obviously telling people to live a structured life. What other tips do you have for people to kind of stay sane during all this? Um, I tell them to make sure they still do the things they like doing. Um, like, even if they can't do them to the extent they want to, like, you know, try to do something similar. Like, like, for example, if you like to go to the spa and you can't go, then make yourself a spa at home. Like, do something, get some candles, you know, get some, you can still go to the store, we can all go to the store. Um, get some bath salts and, like, treat yourself, like, do something for yourself treat yourself Te do for yourself like you would do for somebody else if you're that kind of person i do i work a lot with the mind and creatives specifically creatives in um the world of fame i call it show business even if it's fashion there's still some bridge to show business sure. um you know in, in any way whether it's especially now like so much stuff is online um the the there's a change in media and the way that it's perceived and social media is a form of media now um it's the new television it's it's a new almost every damn thing um so i work with um creatives and their mindset their perception their ability to communicate um how do i explain this so for I like to say that cognitive, the word cognitive is just your critical thinking. Like it's just your top best thinking. It's your planning. It's the part of your brain that makes where you make your rational decisions. Now, like <laughs> the way the brain works is um, maybe the things that are causing you to make those decisions that you believe are rational are not rational. <laughs> <laughs> so and you understand this um with the way the brain works is like all of these hormones right are like shooting through your body um and they are changing your 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 neurons yeah. and your neurons are firing to you know the front of your brain and by the time it reaches the front of your brain you believe you're making a very good rational decision and then you're like hmm that didn't feel right or that doesn't sound right or maybe I shouldn't have said that or, you know, you end up regretting it later. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you think you're completely right, which is most of the time what it is. Most people think they're just completely right um, because in their mind they are, right? That's like the way the brain works. 